Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do a beauty haul. Yeah. I just recently got quite a lot of beauty products that are right in front of me. These items that I'm going to show you are not just my items. They also have some of my friends' items. <laughs> We shopped the sale together. I'll just be sharing with you guys the products that she got together with me. So yeah, let's get started on today's haul. Okay, so the first item is the Daughter Judd Sika Repair Sika Pair Cream. So this soothes irritated, sensitive and sensitized skin. I believe I've talked about something similar on my channel before. In case you haven't watched that video, basically I share with you guys how I improve my skin condition from the acne breakout that I had. For that particular period of time, I was actually using the Sika Plus Balm B5 Cream from La Roche Posse. But since I saw that Dr. Jack is on discount, I just decided to get it. And my friend got one also. This is how it looks like inside. I feel to open it but yeah this is how it looks like I just display it on my shelf because I think if my skin happens to be sensitive I will just use it so yeah next I got this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharge Complex Duo so this is the Estee Lauder eye cream which I have talked about on my channel before this is the current eye cream that I'm using and the original price was I think about 98 to like $100 for one and for this duo, it has two eye creams inside and I only paid I think $30 or $40 for it so it means effectively one eye cream costs like what? $20 or even like less than that how can I not buy? Oh my god! Wow! So yeah, this is the eye cream that I got and next moving on to hair oil I got two of them because my hair is extremely dry I really need a lot of hair oil So this is the hair oil that I got This hair oil is from Avida Not sure if you guys know but Avida is actually um, quite pricey in my opinion Especially for their shampoo and their hair oil Even though I do use it but I feel that it is quite painful whenever I buy them I really like what it does to my hair So I just buy it anyway So this is the Navida Nutri Plenish Multi-Use Hair Oil So I got two So like I say, I use a lot of hair oil Like usually after I wash my hair, I apply 5 different kinds of hair oil 5 different kinds of hair oil WHAT? <laughs> Onto my hair This is how it looks like inside it's quite small actually. Okay, this is 30ml. Smaller than I thought. Okay, I have my hair up today so I'm not going to demo but if you guys want to see a review, you can let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, this is the hair oil. Then next, moving on to this brush. So this is the MAC 129S powder brush. This is how it looks like inside. Oh, it looks really good. And next, moving on to cologne. I decided to get a cologne for Sean. This is the Hugo Boss Inverted, I think, Inverted Cologne. I didn't try this scent before. I was just praying and hoping that it would smell nice. If not, I have to smell it for like as long as this lasts. Thankfully, it turns out to be really nice. Yeah, it smells really good. So in case you are thinking of getting your boyfriend or your husband a gift, you can consider this cologne. Okay, moving on to a few of the lip products. This come in really really handy because government just announced the relaxing of mask wearing rules. It's not mandatory anymore which is amazing. So uh, my friend and I got a little bit crazy when it comes to lipstick because they are so affordable. Okay, let me just give you an example. You know Tom Ford lipstick retails for $72 in Sephora? Guess how much Tom Ford lipstick cost during the sale? It was $20. Oh my god, that's more than 50% discount. It's really like 70% off. Actually, I wanted to get one for myself, but then I really couldn't find a shade that I really, really fancy, so I decided to give it a miss. Instead, I got a lipstick from MAC, which is the one that I'm currently wearing. I've already done a review and swatch video of the MAC lipstick, so this is the one that I got. Okay, next, Bobbi Brown. This is the Lux Shine Intense Lipstick. So let me just show you guys how the colour looks like inside. I always love Bobbi Brown's packaging because it feels so luxe and beautiful. This is in the shade Carrot. Ooh, it's so beautiful. Not sure if you guys are able to see it. But this lipstick shade is so pretty. I can imagine how gorgeous this shade would look on my friend. 
of course it's not mine so I can't swatch it for you guys <laughs> I did ask for my friend's permission whether I can show it <laughs> in the vlog so yeah and the next one that my friend got is this Revlon lipstick this is how it looks like like color wise not sure if you guys are able to tell on the camera I will not be opening this packaging because it's like new and it's not mine this is in the shape wine with everything from what I see this shape looks really 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 pretty and this was only 3 bucks. oh my god so affordable my friend also got a matte lipstick this is in the shade retro totally her kind of shade and this is how it looks like inside oh so beautiful okay maybe I'll just do a quick comparison of retro versus um, devoted to chili which is the one that I got looks pretty similar I would say it just like this has a little bit of orange undertone whereas this is more of like a mauve to like pinkish undertone so this is devoted to chili and this is in the shade retro both are equally beautiful this is in the powder kiss finish whereas this is in the satin finish oh beautiful next will be this fresh product this is the sugar advanced therapy this is just a standard lip treatment and next would be another lip treatment I would consider this is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy but it's not a lipstick this is a nighttime rescue lip oil serum I just decided to get it because my lips are really 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 dry at night especially I sleep with the AC on oh doesn't have like a scent to it so this is how it looks like inside so excited to try it okay maybe I'll try this tonight and if you guys are interested to see a review you know what to do and the last item is the Tom Ford lipstick that my friend got. This is in the shade Scarlet Rouge. <laughs> Sean taught me how to pronounce, so if he's wrong, go and find him. I really really love Tom Ford packaging, it just feels so luxe. Among all the lipsticks that I just unboxed, I think this is definitely the nicest in terms of the packaging. So this is the standard Tom Ford packaging with the TF on top. This is how it looks like inside, totally beautiful. Maybe I should have gotten one for myself since it's only $20. So yeah, these are all the things that I got from my beauty haul recently and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If there's any particular product that you would like me to review, you can let me know in the comments down below. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!